Antarctic krill is a species of krill found in Antarctic waters of the Southern Ocean. It is a small swimming crustacean that lives in large schools called swarms, sometimes reaching the densities of 10,000 to 30,000 individual animal per cubic meter. It feeds directly on meat phytoplankton, thereby using the primary production energy that the phytoplankton originally derived from the sun in order to sustain their pelagic life cycle. It grows to a length of 6 cm, weighs up to 2 grams, and can live for up to 6 years. It is a key species in the Antarctica ecosystem and in terms of biomass is one of the most abundant animal species on the planet. The main spawning season of Antarctic krill is from January to March, both above the continental shelf and also in the upper region of deep sea oceanic areas in the typical way of all krill. The male attests a spermatophore to the genteel genital of the female. For this purpose, the first pleopods had jacking. The first pleopods of the male are constructed as mating tools. Females lay 6,000 or 10,000 eggs at one time. They are fertilized as they pass out of the genital, genital openings. According to the classical hypothesis of meiosis, the Albertana relieved from the results of the exploration of the famous British research vessel RRS Discovery. Egg development then proceeds as follows. Gastrulation sets in during the descent of the 0.6 mm eggs on the shelf at the bottom in oceanic areas in depths around 2000-3000 meters. The egg hatches as a nucleus larva. Once this has molted into a nucleus, the young animal starts migrating towards the surface in a migration known as developmental ascent. The next two larval stages termed second nucleus and interpleus still do not eat but are nourished by the remaining yolk. After three weeks, the young krill has finished the ascent. They can appear in enormous numbers continue 2 per liter in 60 mm water depth. Growing larger additional larval stages follow. They, they are characterized by increasing development of the additional legs. The compound eyes and the serai at 15 mm in the Juvenile krill resembles the habitus of the adult krill. Krill reach maturity after two to three years. Like all crustaceans, krill must molt in order to grow. Approximately every 13 to 20 days, krill shed their chitinous exoskeleton and leave it behind as a exuvia. Antarctic krill directly ingest meat for phytoplankton cells, which no other animal of krill size can do. This is accomplished through filter feeding using the krill's highly developed front legs, which form an efficient filtering apparatus. The six thoracopods create a feeding basket used to collect phytoplankton from the open water. In the finest areas, the opening in this basket are only one um, in diameter. In lower food concentrations, the feeding basket is pushed through the water for over half a meter in an open position, and then the algae are combed to the mouth opening with special serai on the inner side of the th thoracopods. 
crew used an escape reaction to evade predators swimming backwards very quickly by flipping their rear ends. This swimming pattern is also known as lobstering. Krill can reach the speeds of over 0.6 meters per second. The trigger time to optical stimulus is, despite the low temperatures, only 55 ms. You learned a lot of facts about the Antarctic krill, and you got a lot of knowledge from me. So now the main thing you need to do is just click that subscribe button and the bell icon, then like and share and comment guys. I have a challenge for you. Can you hit, hit the subscribe button and like, share and comment in 3 seconds? Then let's see. 3, 2, 1, go! Did you like and subscribe and share and comment in 3 seconds? If you did, then you are a very big legend. You are the legendary man in my team of the other world. So always support me guys. Goodbye guys. Thank you for always supporting me.